I think that's one of the goals of synthetic biology is being inspired by what nature has evolved, but also trying to design new things that maybe have not yet existed because evolution was not really directed that way. Hey Marcel, it's good to see you. Yeah, likewise, how are you doing? I'm really excited to be here today and uh, talk with you as well as with Bing. Bing is our latest AI guest and we can ask them questions or have them join the conversation too. Cool, I'm really excited. It's gonna be really fun. Tal and Marcelo, you both work in the field of design but with very different materials. Marcelo, you work with objects and installations that you design with computation. While Tal, you work at the microscopic level with synthetic biology. Can you tell us more about your work? There are really trillions and trillions of bacteria in and on our bodies, more than the stars in the entire galaxy. It's really amazing how some things that are so small have such a large impact on our planet and on our own health. We grow bacteria on these little petri dishes and under just the right conditions, they actually form these beautiful snowflake-like patterns. We manipulate the bacteria, their environment. We also manipulate their genetics with synthetic biology. And in doing so, we use them to communicate different topics that relate to how bacteria influence society. I got really excited when you started talking about programming bacteria in the same way that I talk about programming electronics. And I think to me, that was sort of the magical moment of, hey, we care about the same things, but we're thinking about it in very different ways and in very different places. Bing, I'm very excited about how AI is going to make collaboration easier. How do you think AI will help us interact with each other, with biology, and with technology in the future? AI is a powerful and transformative technology that can help in many ways in the future. An example could be using AI to augment our senses, cognition, and creativity through wearable devices or brain-computer interfaces. Interdisciplinary work will become increasingly important to inspire artists and scientists to imagine new ways of creating and coexisting with the world. Yeah, I think that's something about interdisciplinary work that's really shared between us, trying to break down boundaries and trying to think about how to solve problems by working together with different groups of people. Some disciplines may have more overlap or compatibility in terms of their concepts, methods, theories, and languages. Is it more difficult for some disciplines to collaborate than with others? When curiosity comes together and empathy and respect for other disciplines, then I think that that's where true collaboration really happens. And some of these problems are really large scale, right? So they require many different people and many different ways of thinking about things. What would support collaboration between your work in synthetic biology and design? I'm really excited about the day that we get to have a CAD tool for biology. A CAD tool stands for Computed Aided Design. I work in 3D printing and CAD tools are a big part of being able to create designs that we can then fabricate. And being able to do that in biology I think can be incredibly powerful. If a more advanced biology CAD tool existed, AI could design many interesting and useful things, such as a personalized vaccine that can protect against multiple diseases. It's interesting to think that we could use AI not just in terms of designing or helping us design biological systems, but also helping us design the tools for interface with those biological systems, right? I can imagine a future where you can open up a computer or perhaps talk to Bing and through that interaction create new kinds of organisms. I agree, that would be awesome. A lot of the robotics are helping us automate the building processes because oftentimes in the lab we're pipetting things really slowly. It's a very human-centric effort. I think what we're hoping to do is trying to make the design of these systems easier and more intuitive. This is great. I'm looking forward to talking more about it in part two. Me too. We can use bioprinting to think about giving cells a head start, and then maybe from there they can program all these interesting structures. Let's go. <laughs> Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.